Oh, hi. <laughs> Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome to today's Convertible Conversations. wanted to share with you something that I've been thinking about that I read in our local newspaper not too long ago. <clears throat> Since I was a kid, I read the newspapers from cover to cover. I might have learned how to read by following along with my parents as they read to me when I would sit with them on a couch when I was a little kid. But I do read everything in them, and I'm interested in a lot of different things. And a few weeks ago, there was a local editorial, and our paper is a good paper, but this was a, a, an editorial that talked about the two high schools in our town and how they had done well on the ACT scores, and especially in comparison with our state ACT scores, and most especially in comparison with the national ACT scores. <clears throat> and the figures that they use I could see right away they were talking about nine points better, three points better, but I would take what they showed and I would add and subtract and stuff, and it didn't even come out close. They were This editorial was so blatantly wrong in their figures, talking about school kids doing well on their test scores, that I just thought it, it's ridiculous. So my first thought was, I'm going to write a letter to the editor, and I'm going to say, look, can't you guys even get simple math right? But I've learned something, and that's what I want to share with you today. One of the things that I am learning, I don't always do it, but I'm learning before I judge to listen. Listen to God. So first thing I'm doing, I'm thinking about writing this letter, and then I thought, all right, all right let, me, let me ask God about this. So I did, and it wasn't an audible voice, but I just heard the Lord saying, all right, and what will you prove if you point out that they're wrong? And I thought, well, I'll, I'll prove that uh, I'm smarter than they are. I, I caught something that they didn't catch. And I just sensed the Lord saying, and, you know, what good will that do? And I knew the answer. <clears throat> it would make me look good and make them bad, but I didn't want to admit that. And the Lord just said, look, uh, suppose you are right and you prove that they're wrong, will they be predisposed to give you and things that you're interested in a favorable coverage after that? I mean, if you want to call attention to uh, some program that you're doing or some benefit that you're involved in or somebody that needs help or something that your church is doing or whatever, if you go to the newspaper after you've pointed out how they were wrong to make them look bad, will they be predisposed to want to give you good coverage? And I thought... Uh, no, no, they wouldn't. <clears throat> so I didn't write him a letter. But I did show the story to my wife, who's a math teacher. And uh, I said, boy, isn't this ridiculous? And she said, let me see that. And after she read it and thought about it for a while, she said, no, there's nothing wrong with this. And I said, are you kidding? And she said, no, they're talking about percentages here, not points in the score. And it just hit me. <laughs> I was the wrong, I was the one who had misjudged them and judged them as wrong when in fact they were right. So it really pays to listen to God in those things, doesn't it? And my point is, if we would all, myself included, when we're tempted to judge someone else and to go, oh man, they're bad, and generally along with that judgment goes, I would never do that, I'm better than that, they're not as good as me, and especially when we're tempted to point that out to someone, I want to encourage you just to stop and to listen. Ask God what he wants you to do and listen. And he'll speak to you. Probably won't be an audible voice, but he will impress something on your mind. And many times uh, he will say to me, ask your wife about this or ask someone else about this. See what they think. You know, get, get somebody else's perspective on it. Sometimes he'll just make a point to me clearly right away. So, when we're tempted to judge, let's all consider listening instead of jumping to a conclusion and also asking the question, what good will it do if I prove that the other person is wrong and then I'm right? It's just a little something to think about today. So, I'm going to get back to reading my paper and uh, seeing what's in here today. Thanks for listening. See you next time.